So how many times each year when you pull out your Christmas lights, your string lights, most people have string lights just like this one right here. These are LED, these are the warm wipe kind. And then over here we have orange LED as well for Halloween, obviously it's October. How many times each year you pull out these lights from your garage, your basement, your attic or wherever, and you have lights that don't work and you don't feel like dealing with the, finding which lights are broken and replacing them and usually just throw them out. It's just a waste of money. You go out to Home Depot or Lowe's, Amazon, wherever you get your lights from and you usually get more each year. Well, that happens to me every year. I love Christmas. I love hanging lights. Finally came up to, with a solution with it, uh, for this and it's called commercial lighting. Just like this right here that I have around my window right here. I did this a couple weeks ago. I really love it. I want to show you guys how easy it is to do this, how easy it is to replace the bulbs because that's the biggest thing when it comes down to Christmas lights is if they go out and you have to replace those bulbs. So stick around. Let me show you how I did this. So let's get started. I love Christmas. I'm sure a lot of people love Christmas just like me. And like I was saying, I constantly deal with throwing out strings every year and I don't want to do that anymore. And I saw this in Lowe's last year, this commercial lighting. I didn't pull the trigger on it last year. I said to myself, I want to get through one more season of what I have. But this year I upgraded. I went to a thousand bulbs.com, not affiliated with them, bought all this myself. Just really want to show you guys how really easy it is for commercial lighting. So the great thing about commercial lighting is it's very customizable. As you can see, I have my front window here. I did this a couple weeks ago. I have orange bulbs obviously on there because it's October, Halloween. I love putting up lights for Halloween as well. But the great thing is that you can customize it for around your window. As you can see, I cut it off right here. And what I did was, is I put a little outlet on here. So what I can do is, is what I usually do on this little uh, bush right here is I usually put a net light. So I can make my own extension cord from extra wiring right here. As you can see, I made my own extension cord, which I could feed off to anywhere I want. It's a great thing about commercial lighting is it's very customizable. So I was able to do that here. But let me show you the stringers and how easy it is to hook these up. So these are the actual stringers right here. These are actually C9 bulbs. They do sell C7 bulbs. You would have obviously have to get a, a different kind of input right here or a socket they call it. Uh, so obviously there's different socket sizes for C9 and C7 because they are two different bulbs. But for me, I figure I might as well get the C9 bulbs. Uh, they're a little bit bigger, they're gonna be brighter but they're so easy the thing i love about these is if one bulb goes out so if this bulb goes out all i got to do is unscrew this bulb get another bulb put it back in the socket and you're done you don't have to worry about those strands where the whole you know section will go out nowadays i know they they do make them obviously where one bulb just goes out and the whole strand does but sometimes you know you pull them out like i was saying and lots of times you might have multiple bulbs out and sometimes eventually that's that one whole length of that strand is going to go out i deal with that constantly but with this it's just so easy and it's so customizable you can see i cut this right here when i got done doing that first window right there and now what i can do is is i can stick in an uh, outlet a male or female clip on the end here and I can continue to go around my other window. It's so easy to do. They come in various lengths, these stringers. Uh, you know, this, I got 100 foot. What, what I recommend you do is, if you're gonna do this, is definitely measure out exactly what you need. They do have 100 foot. I know they have more than 100 foot, but for me, it was just easier. That's really all I really needed to do the various sections of my house. Eventually for Christmas time, I'm gonna do this window right here. I always do red and green, that's my theme. I just like doing red and green so i have the bulbs here all ready to go i got red and green so once a halloween gets done i'll probably leave these up through thanksgiving time the orange lights but once it gets done all i gotta do is unscrew these bulbs put in the red and green bulbs and i'm done so what like i was saying about customizing them is it a perfect example right here this is your regular i believe these are c4 bulbs these are the smaller size bulbs got these at ace hardware obviously they're purple for halloween but as you can see when you come around a window here and i come to my edge i still had to string this along here because i can't just have it end right here and cut it with these with these stringer lights now i could obviously just come right to the edge here cut it and then I can make my own extension cord here and I can run it off to my timer. So that's what's great about those commercial lights. You can cut them, you can customize them to put pretty much whatever you want. 
and you just keep on going. Obviously, when you go to hang the lights, there are a bunch of clips out there that you can use. Obviously, if you're gonna be doing C9 or C7 bulbs, there are different sizes depending on it, your application that you're doing. For me, I was obviously these are C9, so I was able to find a clip on Amazon, just like this one right here. It does have a magnet on the back here. So if you have a, a piece of siding, J channel, whatever, that you could have a magnet onto it, great the honestly these magnets are really not that strong i tested them out on something that i could put this on really didn't work so what i did was i went up screwing out a hole there with a drill and then from there i'm going to use a screw and put this on the side of my house now obviously you could hang them facing outward so for instance if this was your side of your house and you wanted it to face outward that clip worked well if you could use a clip where if you want them pointing upward like this to me i don't think this real this is really a clean look i'd rather have them pointing outward um as you could see on the on my house there on the side uh but you know play around with it you gotta really if you, you just gotta play around with what you think looks best on your house and there are you go to home depot or lowe's and get clips as well you don't have to go on amazon i got these clips actually right here from lowe's these worked well um, but once i found those other ones where the actual socket could fit inside of it it worked a lot better for me so i'm going to put those on the other window on the other side of my house right now so as you can see i started the first one right here obviously the installing the clips if you're going to do it this way these clips are staying on here i'm not going to take them down they're going to stay around my window now this is probably not the best idea to do it around this the case of your window but for me i can't really get anything in this j channel right here so the clips are the easiest way to go but once the clips are up, that's it. All you gotta do is take down the lights next year or at the end of this year and then put them up next year and you're good to go. So now that I'm at the end of the string and you can see it's 12 inch spacing. I forgot to note that earlier. It's 12 inch stringer spacing. They do sell ones that are longer, they're further apart. Uh, I do believe they're six inch, but 12 inch, it looks pretty good. I'll show you at nighttime. But now, as you can see, I'm at the end here. So all I gotta do is I got these clips right here. So all, you wanna make sure that it, nothing's connected to the power when you do this. Uh, you want All you gotta do is take your wire clippers, snip them here. Mine are a little rusted, but uh, there you go. Nice clean cut right there. I'm gonna clip these back in. And then all I have to do is I can add a little outlet right here, and then I can string this off like I showed you earlier. And then on here, I can do the same thing. I'm gonna show you right now. So the really cool thing, they call these vampire clips. They're really cool. They're really awesome to use. All I have to do is fit this down into the clip just like that. Then you want to make sure you put the clip on the right way so that the this side is facing outward. You'll see like a little end tip there. And then all you have to do is slide this on. It's a little tough, but once you get the hang of it, clips on just like that. Now, since this is a female end, I can add a male end onto here. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to add the male end onto here, then add an extension cord so it goes off to where I need it to plug into so this will light up. So here is the male end of a vampire clip. And just to give you guys an idea, you can easily just clip these right in. You obviously want to make, you want to line up the sides the right way. So then from here, I can string that out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the, this end here. And again, it's the same way. Take your little end cap here. Feed this on, and again, sometimes it's a little hard. There you go, you snap it on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an extension cord now so I can feed this off and make this light up. So to make this extension cord, all you need is obviously cord. They sell this on Amazon. They sell this on a thousandbulbs.com. I got this on Amazon because I, I didn't really need a, the, the, the thousandbulbs.com. They sell a huge uh, cord. It's obviously more for commercial guys that do this for a living. But again, it's very simple. Again, you're just sticking that down in there and then you're putting the clip on there. 
And then from here, all I gotta do is plug this into here. And now I'm gonna string this out to where I need to turn this on. So it's a little hard to tell right now, but this bulb is definitely on. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally just screw the bulbs right in here. And continue to go around. And there you have it. All the bulbs are screwed in. It's customized to fit this window. As you can see, I went all the way up around. We have like that, I don't know what you would call that, like a little design wood thing at the top it goes up around that comes down the side and as you can see i was able to come right to the edge here it's a beautiful thing having this and these clips again these clips uh, these things they're really cool they're screwed into the side obviously it's probably not the best thing to do but for me i like them because i can just have the bulbs facing outward like i was telling you earlier and not at, you know facing upward they're facing outward Clip that right back in there, beautiful thing. So what I'm gonna do, obviously you can't really tell right now. So let's come back at nighttime. And we're back and it's nighttime and as you can see, these orange lights right behind me, it is lit up. I mean, these are super bright lights. I'm gonna bring it in closer so you guys can see these lights and they are super bright. And again, these are the C9, so they are bigger than the C7 bulbs. But you could see, I like I like how they point out so that that brightness is shining right out at you. So obviously, this side's lit up, and then over here, this side's lit up as well. And as you can see above there, that trim line, yeah, that's for a future video. That is, that's something a lot of people, if you like lights, you're really going to enjoy that video when that video comes out. Because... It's really cool what this can do. And so that's for a future video, but as you can see, we're all lit up for Halloween. We got the purple spotlight here shining up on the spider web. Then over here, we got some lights over here. And again, that trim line, <laughs> I can't wait for that video. That video is gonna be awesome. It's, I think it's the way of the future for lighting as well. I mean, this stuff right here, the commercial lighting is definitely the way to go. If you just like hanging lights for Christmas time or Halloween time, that is definitely the way to go. But please stay tuned for that future video so I guys can show you that trim line. So that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoy it. I really love lighting. I just, there's something about when you drive down the street, you see Christmas lights or Halloween lights, decorations. It just, I don't know, brings a joy to me just to see that. And I love seeing it every year. And I just think this commercial lighting is definitely the way to go. So if you have any questions at all on today's video, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. I will definitely help you out. A thousand bulbs again, go check it out. Not affiliated with them. Got all my supplies on there, paid for my out of my own pocket. And I really think this is the way to go. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok. TikTok, go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.